our second training day in week number one. Today is upper body focused. Again, I have my mat, I have a set of weights, I also will be using a stability ball behind me, and I have a band that I'm putting up on a high secure, actually tree, uh, for a band pull down. If you have a pull up bar, you can also choose to use that. So we're gonna start with a warm up, shall guys, we? Go ahead and circle the arms. Remember, small circles, starting small one direction, and then start to make it just a little bit bigger, mid-size circles, and then start to make it a little bit bigger, and then try to go as big as you can. Don't hit your hand on anything, and then we'll reverse, okay? So all the way around, you could start small again if you want to. I just like to keep that big circle, and then I kind of make it a little smaller, and then medium circles, back to our small circles. Good, now turn your palms forward and pump those arms forward and back, forward and back. I want you to feel that stretch in the chest, and the back, and you're pressing, squeezing, shoulder blades together, chest together. Four, three, two, and one. Now wrap your arms around yourself, just crossing one arm over the other and switching sides. Good, four, three, two, and one. Bringing one heel forward, let's circle it up, switch sides, circle it up. So you're feeling a nice stretch in that upper body and the lower, push your butt back, Reach, try to keep your back flat. Good, we're gonna do three more. Up, two more, up, good, last one. Down and up, well done. Grab one heel, you can hold on to something if you need. Driving that heel back, feel the stretch in the quads. Come back to center, other side. So, I like to reach that opposite arm out. Gives me a little bit more of a balance. I'm going to face you now and extend. Good, keeping your abs engaged. One more time, extend and bring it in. Well done, take your feet wide and we're going to lunge to one side. So you're feeling a nice stretch in that inner thigh. Now stay low as you just go to the other side. Now you can bring that elbow of the forearm on that thigh. Try not to put it on the knee, staying low. And if you want to, you can raise one heel and then the other. Staying as low as you can. Getting that nice deep stretch in the inner thigh. Good, one more time. And hands on your hip, bring yourself up all the way. And let's come to our little hip stretch. So bringing one foot forward, other heel pushing back. And then we'll drop that knee, lift the arms for the hip flexor stretch, come back to the floor, tuck your toes and raise that front heel. Ooh, that's a good stretch. Now let's switch sides. So I'm gonna take this knee down, other side, push that heel back, lean down into that hip. Good, draw the knee to the floor, raise those arms up, getting nice stretch to that upper body too. Tuck the hands back down, lift that knee and lift that front toe. Beautiful, come back to the center, step your foot in, roll it all the way up into a downward facing dog. So push the hips up and we're just gonna walk one heel and then the other heel, and do it again. Good, a couple more. Just walking the dog here, keeping your hands pressing into the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and press both heels down, walking your hands back to your feet. Roll yourself up, grab those hands, kind of like clasp your fingers here, elbows wide, brace your abs, feet grounded, and we're just gonna twist and twist. Now keeping your eyes forward, twisting your torso and your shoulders side to side. Good. Try to keep your hip facing forward too. Give me four, give me three, give me two, and one. Good work guys, we are ready for the workout. So first move is a chest press. If you have an incline bench or a stability ball, I'm gonna show you how to do the incline. If you have a ball, if you have a bench, just incline your bench and sit on it. If you don't have either, you can use the flat floor or the flat bench. All right, just the incline just hits a different um, different area in your chest, but overall, we're still working. We're gonna do 40 seconds of chest presses in incline or that flat position. Take a 20 second rest and repeat that five times. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start with my medium set of weights, and if it feels too light, I can always swap it out for my little bit heavier. 
So on to the incline, let me show you first. If you have a ball, first of all, make sure it's secure. You might even want to prop it up against a wall so you don't slide out from underneath it. But you can walk yourself down until you notice that your back is pressed into the ball. Make sure your tailbone pushes into the ball. Your knees are bent, your feet are flat on the floor, and you can even place them against a wall if you need that security, okay? So as long as you feel like you're not gonna move, then you're okay. Otherwise, place your toes against a wall or the ball against a wall. So you're gonna lay here, pushing your shoulder blades into the ball, and elbows wide, and you're gonna squeeze up over your chest, back down, okay? So it's just like a normal chest press, but on an angle, if you're on a bench, you're kind of in that same position. Again, if you don't have either, use the floor or the bench. Are we ready? Let's begin. So we're gonna press and extend. And you can go at your pace. Remember, this is a te tempo-based workout, not a rep-based. So we're not counting reps. So instead, we get to really focus on the squeeze. Squeeze, and we control back down. Exhale and inhale, keeping the shoulder blades pinned down, keeping the tailbone pinned down. Exhale and inhale. Don't strain your neck. Try to keep that neck in line with your spine. Keep breathing. Four, three, two, and one. We have a 20 second break. I'm gonna increase my weights just to see how that feels. You don't have to increase, you could keep the same weight. But let's get ready. In three, in two, and one. So this is round number two. Good. Now these are a little heavier. I feel a little more pressure. But again, when you press up, I want you to squeeze the chest muscles. It's not really about the arms. It's about the chest initiating the movement. Your elbows come out to the side on the way down. And then you squeeze the weights back up towards each other on the way up. Again, remember your foundation. Where's your back? Where's your tailbone? Keep the neck in line with your spine. Four, squeeze it up. Three, two, and rest. All right, I really feel those. I'm gonna keep this weight, but again, we have three more rounds, so I might wanna drop sooner or later if I feel that I can't control, uh, I can't continue with good control. All right, so. Getting your spa, yourself back into position, round three. I know it's a lot, here we go. Squeeze up, resist. All right, and again, once that weight starts to feel a little bit harder, slow the move down, or drop it to a lighter weight if you have one. Squeeze, squeeze, and don't let gravity pull you down. You're in control on the way down. Are you breathing? Exhale. Squeeze the chest. It's all about the chest. Come on. Stay strong. You're almost there. Push, pull. Four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna drop the weight now back to my lighter weight. Because I know I have two more rounds. So you, oh my goodness, I'm feeling that burn. Right through the chest, you feel that? That's what we want. So come back into your position. Make sure you're secure. Three, two, and one. Squeeze, squeeze. So if you do drop the weight like I did, you might find that you could go just a little bit faster. But it's not about momentum. It's about control. Just a little bit more pressure. Squeeze it, lift it, and control the weight down. Now I know I'm making faces and I'm okay with it. Try to relax your neck, relax your neck, or relax it, I don't know, whatever sounds best. A little bit more, guys. <sighs> Inhale, squeeze, four, three, two, and one. All right, here's the deal. I feel it a little bit in my neck. Now, if you're feeling that because you don't have a bench, you have a ball, I'm gonna recommend go to the floor or you can continue to use the ball like I am, but I'm gonna rest my head on the ball and lift my hips up. So you choose to lie on the floor. Three, two, same move though, it's still a chest press. But now, obviously, my body's in a different position. So the area of my chest that's working changes just a little. Still works the chest though. I still wanna control it. Now this is my fifth round. 
squeeze. I really want to get the most out of this last round. I want to control the down, squeeze the up. Good. And if your hips are off the ball like mine, or squeeze the glutes, keep them tight. Protect your core, protect your back. A little more. Come on. Four, three, two, and one. Good work, guys. We're done with chest presses. Go to your band. All right, guys, so you can put a band around a high object. I have a tree here. If you have a pull-up bar, something that's secure, then you can loop it around that. Um, otherwise, if you have a pull-up bar, you're gonna pull yourself up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab two sides of the band. I'm going to step back a bit, and I'm gonna squeeze down my elbows coming at my sides, squeezing my shoulder blades together. Three, two, let's go, pull down. Now I wanna lift my chest, separate my elbows, and feel the squeeze down into my shoulder blades, down into my lats. Now if you're doing pull-ups, maybe you do a few pull-ups and you rest. Maybe you use something to assist you, like a band. Exhale, lift that chest, get up and over that band or bar. Come on, a little more. Couple, four, three, two, and rest. All right, so you really feel that in those muscles down both sides of the back. All right, we're gonna do it again. So, if you don't feel it enough, maybe you grab higher or wider on your band. If you have a pull-up, you might need to take some breaks and that's okay. Brace your core, three, two, let's go. So, it's a pull-down if you have a band. And of course, if you're on the pull-up bar, it's a pull-up. You're still initiating the same muscle group. So try to slide the shoulders down, shoulder blades down. Squeeze, feel that burn in the back, in those lats. Keep your chest up, don't slunch, don't slouch. We have 10 more seconds, guys. Come on, we could do this. Now you should be burning, I'm feeling it too. Four, three, two, one. Rest, if you need to, big round. All right, we got three more rounds, guys. Fix your pants, fix your brain, put yourself into position. Keep those abs engaged. Keep your feet anywhere you need to. Three, two, let's go. So pull straight down, or you're pulling your body straight up. That burn is happening as it should be. We have two more rounds. So again, if you have a pull-up bar and it's getting really difficult, put the rope, if you have a band, put it around that bar and use the bar to do what I'm doing. Three, two, let's go. All right, so these last two rounds, guys, are gonna burn a lot more than the first few. So what I want you to do is slow it down if you have to and take control of the movement. Keeping your abs engaged, Drive those elbows down as you bring the band down or your body up. Oh my gosh, it's really burning. Whew. But we can still do this, right? The burn is our friend. We're almost there. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. One more round. I'm gonna try to face a little bit more towards you on this one. So you'll notice everything's starting to feel it. My hands are feeling it. I'm gonna even turn my hands out. Palms out in three, two, and one. Good, so now you can see how I'm pulling that band towards my chest. 
Keep those elbows out to the side and down. And I want to initiate the move down in my lats. All right, so that's where the motion starts. That's the muscle group that's working. Pull and pull. If you get better at this, you will do pull-ups soon enough, I guarantee you, if you're utilizing the right muscle group. Pull. Good, you can separate the band if you have one. That'll make it harder. Four, three, two, one. Pull-ups or pull-downs are done. Let's go to the next move, guys. Guys, this next move is a dumbbell squat. So yes, we're gonna use the legs too. As we come up, you're gonna go into an overhead press. If you wanna use a band, you can step on the band, holding the sides over your shoulders. You squat to come down, and as you come up, you push up 40 seconds, and we take a 20 second rest. Ready? Let's go, drop and press, drop. I'm gonna turn to the side. I want you to notice that my back is straight. My chest stays up. As I come up, I push my feet into the floor and I raise my arms over my head. Keeping the abs tight is really important. Inhale, exhale. Only go as low as you can. And then you shoot your arms and body back up. Exhale, We've got 10 more seconds, guys. Now if the weights are getting too heavy, put them down. Four, three, Two, one, rest. I am gonna drop my weight, and that's okay. You can too. We have less rest today, more work. Five seconds until work. At an angle, squat, three, two, and one. Good. Now if you have lighter weight, maybe you squat lower, and maybe you go a little faster. Maybe not. <laughs> Press the heels into the floor. Press, push. We're halfway now. Come on. Abs are tight. Exhale. Squeeze your butt. Eyes up. Five seconds. Four, three. Two, one, rest. Water if you need. Drop the weight if you need. <coughs> Round three. I'm gonna face you. Three, two, let's go. Good. So keeping that chest up, looking up, pressing up. As your feet press down, two moves in one. You come down, you come up. You could go slower, faster, but focus on your form. Keep the heels down, push. Squeeze your butt. A little more, four, three, Two, rest. So we have two more rounds, you and me. You could do this without any weight. Find your breath, get your focus. Up. Five seconds until Four, two, let's go. Good. So start slow. Find the depth and the range of motion, or how, what your speed is, with good form. You choose to keep going. You choose to get better. Are your abs in? This is hard, guys. Come on, I'm right here with you. A few more seconds. Five, four, three, Two, and one. One more round. Well done, guys. You got one more round, with or without weights. Three, two, let's go. 
So since it's our fifth round, maybe you go a little faster. Maybe not, but you don't stop. Lift, drop, lift. Squeeze your butt at the top. Push your heels into the floor and reach your arms all the way up. 10 more seconds. Yes, you can. Five, three, one, done. Well done. All right. Take a little rest. Five seconds until another few seconds. Catch your breath. The next move is called the white goblet squat. Your feet are gonna be in a wide position, toes out. One or two weights, or you can step on a band. Squat down and just stand up. I'm gonna keep the weight on my chest. You can do the same thing, or you can hold it down between the legs, but in a goblet position. Your toes are out here, weights at your chest, Three, two, let's go. Press. Good. So the weight's gonna be up at your chest if you're holding it like a goblet, like I am. But all the work's in the legs. So I want you to press down into the feet. Knees are out. We have 20 seconds left. Keep going. Press. Push. Squeeze the butt. Lift your chest, keep your eyes up. Seven, five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Four more rounds. So maybe that one weight is heavy enough. I'm gonna try one medium weight and hold it like this. Are you ready? Five seconds until Four, three, two, let's go. Lift, good. So I have one weight now, I can push the speed of my legs a little faster. But my back is still tall, chest is lifted. Push, push, drop it down. Squeeze the legs, all those muscles. Can you breathe? Come on, slow down if you can't. It's important. Find your breath. Smile. Almost there. Squeeze it. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Three more like that. You're doing good. Water if you need. I'm gonna try kind of at an angle. The feet are still wide. Toes out. Let's go. So this is round three. Notice my butt goes back. My back stays up. Even though I slightly hinge a little bit forward. It's the nature of the move. Push, squeeze. Press the feet down, squeeze the legs. Keep that breath flowing. Come on, stay strong. It's all legs on this one. Upper body day. Why are we working legs, Cassie? Because we can. Three, two, one, breathe. All right, we have two more like that. Choose your weight or not but choose to keep going. Five seconds. Ready, set, let's go. Up, squeeze, press. So we're on round four, guys. I know you're getting tired, as am I, but this is where we really have to get into the form 
Focus on what you're feeling. Press the feet down, squeeze the legs, squeeze the muscles in the legs as you come up. Keep your chest up, keep your eyes up, keep your intensity up. One more. Four, three, two, one more round, guys. You're doing it. Last one here. And we just got Five seconds one more move with weights. Four, three, chest up. Two, let's go. Up, up. Think of up. The down happens almost automatically, right? Because of gravity. So focus on up. Squeeze the back. Squeeze the legs. Make sure the knees are going out. Chest up. Come on, up. Smile. Get that burn. Stand it as long as you can. Slow it down if you have to. A little more. Yes, you can. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Down with this move. Grab a light set of weights. Last move of the day before we do plank is called a man maker. If you're a woman, it still works. Okay, so you're gonna grab, if you're gonna use weights, I like to grab one with a flat edge, not a circle. You'll see why. So I'm gonna squat down, take the weights to the floor, step or jump your feet back. You can be in a toe plank or a knee plank, yeah? You're gonna do a push up and then you're gonna do a row, other side row. Step or jump your feet in. You're gonna squat, take your weights or hands to the shoulders, press up, come back down and we'll repeat for time. All right, I'm gonna start on the floor. This one's not a joke, so if you need, slow it down, make it easier. You can even put the weights down. Two and one. Back, give me a push up, give me a row, other side row, step or jump in, squat, press all the way up, drop it and do it again. So now that you know what to do, go at your pace, modify if you need to, don't stop. One move at a time, with control, all right, with integrity, getting better with every rep. Try to go so you're not just falling into the move. Four, three, two, rest. All right, we're gonna do that four more times. You think you got it? You could do everything with your knees down, your push-ups and the rows. You could step your feet in and not jump. Five seconds. It's up to you. Start up. Three, two, let's go. He grabs in. strong, capable, powerful, 10 more seconds, Five seconds four, three, two, one, oh my gosh, <laughs> Woo! three more baby, on your oxygen, you can start wherever you want to, you can start in plank, you can start at the top. Five seconds until work. Three, two, go. Have control. Now remember, if you want to go heavier with the weight, you also have to do a row in plank position. So it's not just about the squat, it's about all these moves together. Come on, you're almost there. Five seconds until we come. Two 
Two more. Two more. I'm gonna start in plank. And four, three, two, push up. You can start wherever you want. You're still gonna flow through that whole movement. Push up, I got a row, another row, step or jump in, squat press, come back down. Halfway, keep your abs in, keep your focus on moving to the best of your ability. That's all you gotta do today, the best. It's good news, because it's all we gotta worry about. Four, three, two, one. We got one more round, guys. I know it's not easy, it's worth it. Should I go the other side? I'm gonna switch over here. I'm gonna start standing. In three, two, let's go. Push up. Row, row. Step or jump. When you come up, try to come up with a flat back. Drop the butt. Straight up, push up, row, row, step or jump in, squat, press, 10 seconds, finish this move, four, three, two, and one, woo, all right guys, grand finale, two minute push, you can hold a plank on your hands or on your forearms. Two minutes is a long time, so do what you can. If you have to take a break, let me show you. You can stay on your, so you're here, squeeze your abs. You take a quick break, drop, pop right back up. So this will be the extent of your break. It's just a quick drop, come back up. Now listen, you could do that for a whole minute. You're still gonna be really engaging the core, but not just resting on the floor. All right? So I'm gonna go ahead, grab my timer. All right, are you ready? So you're gonna get into position, whether you're on your hands, might be a lot of pressure on your wrist, but sometimes it might feel a little bit easier. Slide your knees back, and when you're ready, you rise, Raise the knees up, push your heels back, and tuck your hips under. So I don't want anything here, I want you to tuck under here so you feel all the contraction happening in your abs. You know how to feel that. Opposite move is just to take the forearms down. Again, pop the knees up. The wider your feet are, easier it's gonna be, but from here, tuck under and hold. So you have kind of a round in your back, right? But you're pushing your shoulders away from your ears. Are you ready? Get set. Here we go, guys, two minutes. So I'm gonna talk you through it because right now I just want you to get in position. Your feet are a little wider than your hips. Press your heels back, tuck your hips under and squeeze your abs. Push the floor away from you with your forearms or your hands and your shoulders stay away from your ears. Now find your breath, soften your face and think of something else today that you have going on. Because this is gonna be a position we're gonna get a little uncomfortable together in. Yeah? Good. So as long as you commit to being just a little uncomfortable today, for just a little bit of time under tension, you're getting stronger in the meantime. So if you need to, remember what I talked about, drop your knees, drop your hips, and pop right back up. Don't stay there too long. And if you need to shift your body around, get comfortable, get uncomfortably comfortable, or comfortably uncomfortable, I don't know, we're halfway there though. So, maybe you shift your hands around, tuck your feet, pull your abs in tighter, drive your shoulders out of your ears, and focus on slowing your breath down. Try to soften your face, your hands, and really squeeze your core. Breathing in, breathing out. You can take those quick breaks, but bring it right back up. Because listen up, guys. You have just 30 seconds left. 
Yes, that's it. Come on. Right now, you and me are fighting. Keeping your core, lifting you up, softening your shoulders, squeezing your belly tight, pushing your heels back, extending out through the crown of your head, and find your breath. And we have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Wow. Now, take your hands under your shoulders, push back, and right around your back here in child's pose. That was a lot. Before we go into our cool down, let me just tell you why we did that. I'm a mess. <laughs> Hold on. Now we did that because a lot of times we say we want strong abs, right? We want a strong core. And what do we typically do? Crunches, right? But a lot of times the crunches are involving our upper body, swinging over the hips, other things happening that is mostly momentum when we get tired we risk hurting ourselves and we're not really getting the best benefit because we don't have those muscles stabilized yet. Plank is a stabilizing move. Whereas you're holding everything up by that center, right? That's why it feels so hard. And over time, that's gonna get easier so that you can hold it longer and you're gonna stabilize your core all the time. Especially when you're squatting, doing lifting moves, moving through your day, picking things up right? And you're going to eliminate or reduce, extremely reduce or eliminate your risk of injuring your back. Core muscles, squeezing them and tightening them, so, so important. And get my cool down timer. Yeah. Have a seat. So here we go. We're going to take the hands behind you, clasp your fingers and just open up the chest. So drive the knuckles to the floor, drive the shoulders down and back and open across that chest. So good. So good today. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Take one arm out and bring it across your chest. Beautiful. Feel that shoulder to release, release away from your ear. Feeling that chest expand taller. Give me your best posture. You can close your eyes like I am. I'm just focusing on the stretch. Well done, guys. Other side, take that other arm out and bring it across. We did a lot today. <laughs> a lot of upper body, right? And then let's just face it, we got the lower body involved too. But that gets the best burn, gets the best challenge for you today, especially since we're doing three day a week workouts right now. Uh, we just get everything involved, right? But we focus mostly on the upper body. So take your fingers in front, round your back, tuck your chin in. I'm gonna turn to the side just so you can see. I want you to pull your belly back, push the arms out, tuck your chin to the chest, and you're like in a big C shape, taking your hands and pushing them further out in front of you, pulling your belly button further back. It's like you're pulling and pushing two different directions, and then take your arms above your head, nice and tall with your spine, take your hands behind your head, eyes up, elbows wide, keep that breath flowing. You're doing amazing, my arms are shaking. <gasps> Oh goodness, that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna turn back to face you, so release your fingers. Taking one hand on the floor, take that other arm up and over, so you can bend into the supporting elbow, feel a nice stretch all the way down the side of your body. Take this arm up, open your chest, and look up. Good, do it again, reach over. Reach a little further if you can, and then sweep that arm all the way over to the other side. Let's switch. This arm just comes up and over, bending into that supporting elbow. Just breathe. Now take that top arm and reach it up all oh, nice and high over your shoulder, lift up. And as you exhale, just sweep it over a little further out with your fingers, bending, relaxing that bottom shoulder and relax your face. And then inhale all the way back up. Good, now I'm gonna come into a hands and knees position. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, go ahead and round up like a kitty cat. And then arch it out. One more time, round arch it out flatten out your back take one foot forward so that knee and ankle are kind of in a straight line and i'm just going to hinge forward so my stretch is right through here good take that opposite hand or the same hand that's 
Your knee is behind you. Take that arm up and reach it over to the other side. So you're gonna feel a nice side stretch once again. And then we're gonna take this hand down. Walk your hands to either side of that front foot. You can tuck your back toes under so the heels lift and just slide your hips back till you straighten out the front leg. My front toes face up and you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the hamstring, yeah? If you wanna go further, just walk your hands out a little further. Again, we hold the, the stretches I talked about in the last workout at least 15 to 20 seconds and most likely longer than that because that's really where your muscles just start to relax. Before that, they're tightened, they're protecting you from overstretching. Let's come up and switch sides. I'm just gonna turn to the other side. So step that other knee forward, slight hinge forward. You can feel the stretch right there. Holding on to this other thigh, take this arm up and reach it over to the other side of you. So you're feeling a nice side stretch. You feel that, isn't that nice? And you're just breathing. So this is a time you get to relax. The hard part's over. Sometimes the stretches don't feel so easy either. You might be shaky. But that's okay, take this arm up, both hands on either side of the foot, tuck your back toes under, and sit back until the front leg is straight, toes pointing up in the air, and you can walk your hands further out if you need. Exhale, try to relax that body and feeling the stretch in that hamstring, the back of that leg, and just relax. Well done, team. I'm so proud of you. That was not easy. So let's come back up. We're gonna take this knee behind you, hands under the shoulders, let's press up into down dog. Push all the way up the back with your hips. Soften your knees and crawl your hands back to your feet. Just let your body hang here. And when you're ready, slide those, press those feet deeper into the floor and roll up. Like a rag doll, roll your shoulders. Take a nice deep breath up. Bring your hands together, give yourselves a big grand round of applause. I will see you in the next training video. Well done.